Hey, what's up, guys? Listen, we have to talk about this divorce looming between Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner. You guys, Joe Jonas is being called out for basically being a covert narcissist by fans. And a lot of people put together all this disturbing behavior and actions that he has done and his family has done over the years. People are saying that right now, Joe Jonas is playing this weird psychological mind game with Sophie Turner because he doesn't, he basically wants to take full custody of the kids because his mom and their weird religious associations, you guys, it's a lot. But can I just say something? Taylor Swift must be literally just chuckling to herself every morning. Everything she said about people have come true. Scooter Braun, remember all that mess he was saying, she was saying about people? Now he's lost almost all his big name clients, okay? Joe Jonas, let's not forget, Taylor actually wrote a song about him. And uh, it seems like everything she wrote in the song actually was right. You guys, let's get into this. Where do you want to start? Okay, first of all, it's 100% confirmed that they are divorcing. Both of them have been seen without their wedding rings. Interestingly enough, Joe Jonas did this insane interview and I think TMZ leaked it and the fan support turned against him. And then the next day he wanted to pop up with his ring. But they're definitely divorcing because get this, they've already sold their house. They own a huge mansion. Sorry, they own a huge mansion um, in Florida. Uh, it's called Cali Meets Bali. They bought it for $11 million. Uh, They put it on the market and they actually made a profit of $14 million. Uh, I'm sorry. They bought it in 2021. They sold it for $11 million and they... Why can't I get this right? They bought it. Sorry, guys. You know me in numbers. They bought it in 2021. They sold it for $14 million. They bought it for $11 million, which means they made about a $3 million profit. That's actually really, really good. Okay, you guys, let's get into what's actually really going on. But first, I have to give you a little bit of history. If you don't know the Jonas Brothers, okay, if you didn't grow up watching them. The Jonas Brothers were always very, very, at least religious presenting. They even had a whole thing about we have purity rings and we're going to save ourselves from marriage. I know. Right. But back then we all believed in. <laughs> there was, I believe, Kevin Jonas. He was the first one to get married and he got married to a lovely young lady named Danielle. Now, they had a reality show, if you don't remember. And one of the things that actually struck everybody as odd was how horrible that family treated Danielle and talked to Danielle. Now, back then, now you're saying, okay, well, how could it be allowed? Well, we all know reality TV was just like such a different place back then, okay? Let me give you some examples of what they did. Danielle had just got married with Kevin, okay? Um, Danielle had just got married with Kevin, and they were living in this huge house, and Danielle was just having fun being a newlywed. His mom, who was over-involved in all the kids' life, very overbearing, very religious, but she also has very specific ideas on what a woman's role is. Their mom literally showed up on camera and was like, what are you doing? Like, you really think, what, you, what do you think you have this big house for? Why haven't you had children? And she wasn't saying it nicely. She was like, what do you think? You're like some princess, like you're going to be pampered. What's the point of you living in this big house and having this lifestyle if you're not having children and getting uh, taking care of the children? What do you think? You're, you're going to get a free ride? She was saying this on camera. Yeah, the brothers treated her like she was just like the worst thing ever. Now, listen, there are other instances that like the mom just couldn't stand Danielle and Danielle to the point of, always said Kevin's mom is so put together that sometimes I get nervous around her because I don't want to say the wrong thing. I'm afraid I'm going to say something stupid or I don't know what necessarily I'm talking about sometimes because I want to sound like I do. But the mom went out of her way to give her dumb looks, treat her like you're an idiot, do all this weird stuff. But here's the important thing that gives us insight into um, Joe and Sophie's relationship. Immediately after they got married, Kevin said he's already feeling the pressure to add another one to his famous family. He admitted they were constantly asking when they were going to have their first child. 
Okay. My one, my mom wants grandkids bad. Now let's fast forward to Joe Jonas, why people are calling him a narcissist. Okay. Um, let's look at his sick part. When, do you know he literally started dating Sophie Turner when she was like, ask her out on a date when she was 13 years old? He was 19. He also asked Gigi had did out on a date when she was, when he, she was 13 too. Okay. Um, let's get into this. Let's start with the TMZ article because that's the first thing you need to hear that to actually know like where this narcissist, alleged narcissism comes from. Um, He's been going back and forth between putting his ring on and taking it off. They said, and this was coming from Joe's people. Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner are headed for divorce. Sources with direct knowledge tell TMZ Joe had his people contact and consult with at least two L.A. area divorce lawyers. And he's on the cusp of filing divorce docs to end his marriage to Sophie. They said he's he's had serious problems for the last six months. We're told over the past three months, Joe's been caring for their two young children pretty much all the time, even as his band was touring. We're told Joe currently has both kids as the group plays around the U.S. Now, mind you, Joe, you are turning, touring. Your mom is watching the kids. There are nannies. But it's sick how he's still trying to paint Sophie as a really bad mother. Now, they said on the surface, it seems there's no outward signs of trouble. Joe and Sophie had attended events together. However, in recent weeks, Joe has not been wearing his wedding ring. And they also sold their Miami mansion, okay, that they just bought a year ago. But they did sell it for a $3 million um, profit. Now, here's where when you take that to account, let's talk about Joe and who he is, right? Joe, when he met Gigi Hadid, he asked her out immediately. She was 13. I think he was 18 or 19. Let's also not forget that he went to visit Sophie on the Game of Thrones set when she was just 13 and he was 21. And then once she was legal, the minute she was legal, they started dating. Okay. Let's talk about as soon as they started dating and they got married. When Game of Thrones ended, Sophie was on top of her game, her career. Anybody attached to Game of Thrones were. She was one of the principal characters. There was so much work for her. She, he demanded that she start having children immediately. Okay? She had one child. She tried to get back to work, right? She only wanted one kid. He demanded right two so sophie tells like a little touching story about how she's like no you know we learned to compromise and they ended up having two children that article he put out on tmz on purpose to make her look like an absentee mother it's all cap sophie is the main caregiver why isn't she around her children because she is currently filming a show in the uk She's only going to be filming for six weeks. She is a actress. The same way when the Jonas is tour, right? She takes care of the baby. She's an actress. She couldn't take the two kids on the set. Joe said he would take care of the kids. People are saying, it seems like, while they are touring, while she's filming. Now, again, you're fil you're visiting her every day on the Game of Thrones set. And as soon as she, since she was 13, and as soon as she turns legal, you guys start dating. Okay. Right. He's forgetting to, to keep his wedding ring on whatever. But again, people are saying that he did that because that TMZ hit article was really, really bad. Again, you turn on the mother of your child, just like this and lash out at the mother of your children. Just so you can save face. People are saying, and I'm actually trying to get more information about it, and this is the thing, guys, that this is actually a well-orchestrated plot to make sure that Joe gets full custody of those children because his religious family, especially his overbearing mom, wants the kids raised in America. If you guys don't know, Sophie is from the UK. She is currently filming a, video, a movie in the, I'm sorry, a film in the UK, or I think it's a TV show. She's filming in the UK. 
she's been arguing. People are saying back and forth with Joe about bringing the kids to the UK. But Joe knows that from a U.S. custody point of view, if those kids never step foot in the UK, then it'll be it's not guaranteed, but it will be much easier for him to get full custody of those children. That's why he is touring with the children, even though she is asking, like, can you bring the kids? Oh, let me come get the kids and bring them over here. If you're so busy touring, he's purposely keeping the kids away from her. You guys, this divorce is going to be ugly. But let me just say that maybe Taylor Swift knew what she said when she wrote Mr. Perfectly Fine by dedicated to Joe Jonas. Mr. Perfect Face, Mr. Here to Stay, Mr. Look Me in My Eyes and Told Me You'd Never Go Away. Everything was right, Mr. I've Been Waiting for You All My Life, Mr. Every Single Day Until the End, I'll Be By Your Side. But that was when I got to know Mr. Change Your Heart, Mr. Leaves Me All Alone, I Fall Apart. It takes everything in me just to get up each day, but it's wonderful to see that you're okay. This is what after he left her in tears. Mr. Perfectly Fine, Mr. How's your heart after breaking mine? Mr. Always at the right place at the right time, baby. Mr. Casually cruel. Mr. Everything revolves around you. Mr. I wait. She said, I've been this misery since your goodbye. And now you're Mr. Perfectly fine. Mr. Never told you why. Mr. Never had to see me cry. Mr. Insincere apology. So he doesn't look like the bad guy. He goes about his day, forgets he was Forget he ever hurt my name. Well, I thought you might be different than the rest, but I guess you're all the same. Because I hear he's got his arm around a brand new girl. This was Sophie. I've been picking up my heart. He's picking her up. And I never got past what you put me through. But it's wonderful to see that it's never phased you. You guys, listen. Taylor Swift in this video, in the lyrics, painted him as kind of like a covert narcissist. And the way he's doing Sophie and this weird thing that people are saying that he's trying to get full custody. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to follow the story and try to get more information. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Sophie, yeah. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to you later. Bye.